Iguanas are big. They can grow up to six feet long with their tails. They're beautiful, they're gorgeous. Make no mistake, they are really attractive. These animals are causing air traffic delays. They're eating crops and causing damage in general to infrastructure. Iguanas will nest very close to the road and they actually are making up to 30 different caves underneath the road. So when there's a vehicle crossing the road with several passengers, the road will collapse. That's why they call it a green plague. And why is it a plague? Because it's an invasive species. These guys came here through the pet trade. They've dispersed throughout the island. Many factors are affecting their uh, population distribution throughout Puerto Rico. First of all, the climate. The climate here is very similar to Central and South America. It's a tropical climate, warm temperatures year round. It has a defined dry and wet season. That creates patches of open land for the iguanas to nest. They can lay an average of 30 eggs per year, uh, but it can be as, as many as 75 eggs per clutch per one female. That's a lot. Out of 100 eggs, 93 of them will be successful and will hatch into a small iguana. Now in Central and South America, you would have natural predators, 52 to be exact. Reptiles, birds, mammals. Now here in Puerto Rico, we haven't had an iguana species living on the island for more than 500 years. So that means that green iguanas are unhindered. They have a lot of vegetation to eat, a lot of land to nest in, and very few predator pressures. They were here for over 40 years and nobody noticed them. And then all of a sudden, they became very common very abundant and they start to interact with people and to interact with our ecosystems in Puerto Rico. And they have become a problem for our economy. So we need a little bit of help. What we're doing here at Las Cabezas de San Juan with uh, harvesting nests, getting rid of the eggs, has been very helpful. We've eliminated, since the year 2008 to the present, uh, approximately 13,000 eggs from the population. That's a big number, but this is something that we're going to have to do for the next 15, maybe 20 years. Now we have to evolve, and we have people from the community of this area working as volunteers in that project. If you look up green iguanas in Panama or Costa Rica, they're actually protected by law. They're almost an endangered species. Here in Puerto Rico, we have the opposite problem. We have too many iguanas. Four million iguanas in Puerto Rico. One iguana per person in Puerto Rico. So we have to explore many different techniques to mitigate this problem. Egg harvesting, hunting wherever it is possible, and turning it into a menu.